This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Sorry, no, never mind. Um, so let's first change this to zero. Uh, we don't actually need to change condition two to zero because if condition is equal to zero, it's not going to get inside this if to test the nested if. So we don't really need to. I'm just going to do it for neatness anyway because I fancy it. Um, whoops, that was an accident. Let's crack open. There we go. Um, so now that everything's zero, so nothing's going to execute at the moment. Just so everyone knows, I'll cover this once I've gone through everything else. Um, so to get this else if to work, condition 3 has to be true. So let's go ahead and change condition 3 to true. And now we've got two nested elements here. We've got a nested if and we've got a nested else if. Okay. Um, and if we want the nested if to work, then condition 4 has to be true. If we want the, nest, uh, the nested else if to work, condition 5 has to be true. And only one of these can be true because it's an if and an else if. It's not an if and then another if. If you if I took away the else on this, what would actually happen, let me just say that, is it would first check this if, and if that was true, it would execute that, and if it wasn't true, it would just skip it, and then it would test this. Whereas if this is an else if, if it tests this and it's true, it would do that. But then it would skip this because this is an else. It's not just a normal if. So, uh, you know, pick and choose however you want um, there. Anyway, so we've got to make our minds up on which one we want to be true. So let's test condition 4 first. So we're going to test condition 3 and condition 4. Let's run this again. Second pair both true. If we go back to our code, we can see inside uh, condition 4 equals equals 1 we have second pair is both true so that obviously worked let's just change this this to 0 and this to 1 and test this again okay second pair number 2 both true and if we go back to uh, our code we can see any else if it was second pair number 2 both true and just so I can prove to you this uh, that I'm not lying. If we change both 4 and 5 to true, uh, I'm going to prove this won't execute because it's an else if. So let's just execute this. Okay, second pair both true, that was obvious. And if I click OK, the next text box doesn't appear because it's not coded to appear. Okay? So, uh, and then finally we, we've gone else and I've just put you get the picture because uh, there's no point in nesting stuff inside here although you should know you can nest stuff inside an else of course so like you can nest it in the if, else if and an if okay you can nest inside the else so let's just test this um, this uh, else else no pair is true okay there we go uh, now let's just cover this quickly what I'm doing here nesting an if inside an if is kind of pointless because I can do this, okay? Let me, if I just, um, whoops. If I uncomment that, take away that. What's actually going to happen here is it's going to say if condition is true and condition 2 is true, and then we could get rid of this nested if because it's not necessary. It's entirely unnecessary to, um, to do it like this because it's much quicker to do it like this, okay? Um, so, that begs a question, why would you nest ifs inside ifs? Well, you wouldn't, unless you have this second scenario, where we also have an else if, and you can't do that inside this condition. You can't say, uh, if condition 3 and condition 4 are true, um, execute that, else if, you know, do that. It's just... Uh, it's not possible, okay, it just doesn't work, so that's the scenario where you have an if nested inside an else if or an if, uh, only if it had a following else if. If it's just an if nested inside an if or an else if, no point in having it, okay? And on that note as well, if you've got an if nested inside an else, you are, you know, completely brainless unless you're trying to do something, uh, 
which requires that because if an if is nested inside an else, you might as well have the else as an else if. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> sorry uh, to uh, go on about that, but uh, it's just just want to point out how stupid that would be if you had that. Uh, anyway, uh, concludes this tutorial, I guess. So, uh, see you on the next one. Over now.